Hi gals, welcome back to another episode of Zero Waste Closet. So last week we looked at what I considered seven essential building blocks for a French inspired wardrobe. These are fantastic pieces. Many of them are good year round additions to your wardrobe. And this week I wanna highlight probably my favorite piece in there. And that is the blazer. Why? Well, one, I think a blazer is probably going to be your best styling tool, your best friend in your wardrobe going into the cooler months. And two, I think blazers often come with a lot of misconceptions. I know they did for me because I used to have an office-based work life. And when I left that, I wanted to be just much more laid back and more casual in my dressing. And in my head, blazers really symbolized something that was more serious, a little stiffer, a little maybe restrictive. And I just didn't want to bring any of that into my current lifestyle. But the reality is blazers, although they can bring gravitas to your look, that is not the only thing they are good for. They are so good at adding edginess to your look, adding just that little bit of polish, that little bit of finish that maybe the outfit lacks otherwise. And there are so many fun ways that maybe you haven't ever even thought of that you can bring a blazer into your look. And there are so many shapes and silhouettes out there, you guys, especially here at Chill Boutique where we're doing consignment now. Oh my gosh, we have tons of blazers on hand for all different styles and body types. So there's lots to work with here. So I turned to Pinterest to get some good ideas. And that is something that I often remind you guys to do. If you are just totally out of ideas and you're looking at something in your closet that is what I call maybe like your hero piece, that piece that you just really want to highlight and you just don't know quite what to do with it, or you're like a one trick pony, you've got the one outfit you wear and that's it. Go on to Pinterest, hit up the search box, put that item in there and it will come up with hundreds if not thousands of outfit ideas. So that's what I did for this video and I came up with six outfits that I thought, oh man, I absolutely love this look. And then what I did was I found my own way to adapt it and translate it into what I would consider a daily life look for me. And I wanna share some of these ideas with you guys for inspiration, so let's take a look. All right, gals, so the first look I wanna highlight is this fabulous, really easy look here. We're gonna actually work from a casual all the way up to a little more elevated here at the end. And this first one takes a classic, just easy jogger. You could go really casual and go with a sweatpant and it pairs it back to an oversized blazer and some sneakers. So this is what I would consider a great, easy weekend, no fuss look that kind of brings the blazer in for almost a little bit of irony. So in my case, I just reproduced the look with a great pair of pine, kind of dark green colored uh, joggers, just a nice drawstring jogger, pair it back to an easy t-shirt, a boxy oversized boyfriend blazer like this one here that I absolutely love. This is great with jeans too, by the way. And and then I pop on sneakers and you know, my kids have a lot of sports games on the weekends. I could totally see just wearing this to a sports game. This is an outfit that also would even work for me during the week for my casual job. So again, the blazer just brings that little bit of polish in and takes it from laying on the couch in sweatpants up to something more elevated. Okay, the second look I'm going to show you guys here is literally one of my absolute favorites and I actually kind of surprised myself. So let's take a look at the Pinterest version of it. You've got a gal that presumably in high fashion is coming from the gym. You've got activewear leggings on, just a little easy tank top, and then you've got the oversized boyfriend blazer again paired back to her gym sneakers and her ankle socks. I think this is the definition of kind of like West Coast cool. Actually, you probably would see this on the streets of New York as well. And so I decided to do my own version of this. And when I put the outfit on, I'm not even kidding. I did not want to take it off. It was so comfortable and cool feeling. So in my case, I just took a pair of sporty black leggings, paired it back to a more cropped tank top here just in black for a nice streamlined look underneath. Then I took a really oversized boyfriend blazer that I currently own that I absolutely love and threw on my socks with my, yes, gym sneakers. And 
You guys, again, you want to talk about both cool and comfortable. Once again, this is a great weekend look, but I wouldn't even be afraid to take this into my own casual workplace. This is something that would be great for any day of the week, and you could get really playful here. Take any of your activewear pairings, and you can just switch around the pieces. You could have colorful leggings on. You could have a different color blazer. This is so translatable into so many looks. Okay, this third look here is probably the one that I would call maybe the most relatable, right? Very easy to reproduce. I think it almost doesn't matter what your style is. You can totally play with this. So go to the Pinterest picture here and we simply have a t-shirt and jeans topped with again a boyfriend blazer and then maybe just some sneakers. So very casual, very edgy, very just kind of street style, maybe even a casual Friday workplace look. So what I love about this is again back to body type styles you can play with the silhouette of the jacket here you could even go with something more cropped you could play with maybe some novelty jeans jeans that even have like rhinestones or pearls or embroidery or detail on them colorful jeans you could do anything here in my case I made it very just classic and simple but I really love the look it has a very French inspired feel to me so I just took some dark blue jeans paired them back to a striped tank top then I took one of my my favorite blazers that I currently own, which is just a leather boyfriend blazer. Really love this for street style edginess. And then for that pop of red, like we know is very in style right now, I put some red sneakers on the feet. And this is just casual. This is easy. This is even a great travel look. And you can bet you'll find me in this this fall. Okay, now on our fourth look, we're going to start to take that transition into a slightly more elevated way to wear your blazer. Elevated, yet still very comfortable, laid back, and casual. So for this first look, we see a flowy trouser, which you guys know from last week's video is another what I consider essential in a French-inspired wardrobe. And you just have a casual t-shirt underneath and some sneakers for some street-style edginess and the oversized blazer. So I really love that look. And once again, you can mix and match the pieces, work with the wardrobe you already have. For me, this is one of my favorite looks when I re tried to reproduce this look. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear this this fall. So I just took a really baggy high-waisted trouser here. I belted it just to emphasize the waistline, which is kind of nice because you have two kind of with the boxier blazer and then the flowier pant that can feel like a lot of fabric. So I did want to highlight that there is a silhouette underneath then paired it back to a mustard colored tank for that little pop of color and in this case instead of a sneaker which would absolutely be cute with the look I went back to just a little booty which I think sort of streamlined things gave it a little feminine edge now look number five is definitely a super fun look. This should speak to all of my bohemian gals out there. And also those of you who do want to bring some extra edginess, some fun casual street style into your look. You guys know I absolutely love contrast when it comes to moods and genres when it, within our outfits. So for this one, we see the Pinterest photo, which features a feminine, flowy, bohemian style dress, but then we edge it up with the contrast of the more masculine blazer on top and then the sporty high top sneakers. I think this is just such a cool edgy look that is very easy to reproduce. So in my case, I took a long green flowy floral dress that we have here at Chill Boutique in consignment. Totally love it. And I bring the oversized blazer in and I take some black high tops that I just happen to have in my own wardrobe. This is a really, really comfortable outfit that is sort of like effortlessly edgy. And if you're not a long dress gal, try this with a shorter flowy dress, especially if you're more petite and you can definitely get the same kind of look. And last but not least, gals, I have loved this look for years. It never seems to go out of style. And that is the whole idea of taking a silky slip dress or even a silky slip skirt and pairing it back to a blazer for, again, that kind of feminine masculine contrast. In the Pinterest photo here, we see her donning the blazer in this look and creating a more elevated look by bringing a heeled shoe in. This is a really nice way to transition 
translate this look into nighttime or for a more special event or even a more formal workplace. I like that, but I wanted to take the whole idea of pairing the blazer back to the slip dress and make it more casual, more easy daytime, even potentially weekend wear. So in my case, I take my favorite taupe colored silky slip dress and I put a black tank top over it to create the look of a top and a skirt so already it's very comfortable. Then I throw the blazer on top and instead of bringing a heel in I bring an easy sneaker in. One could even do a high top here and this is something I definitely know I'm going to be wearing throughout fall and winter. This is that look that I have referenced that I saw all over the place on the streets of London on our summer trip this year. So definitely definitely conveying cool, edgy street style. Well, gals, if you had any doubts about a blazer having a place in your own wardrobe, I hope this video has gotten you to think again. And if you're someone who already loves blazers, but like me for a long time only had one or two ways to wear it, I hope that this has expanded your mind and gotten you to think really creatively about those things you already own. Now, if you need to bring some additional pieces in to reproduce some of these looks, we are always here for you here at Chill Boutique and you guys can jump online. I'll drop the links below to shop our retail collection or pop in store if you guys want to check out our consignment. We're getting new arrivals constantly. This is an ever-evolving collection. There is so much to choose from, especially if you're working on building your own wardrobe or building a new wardrobe. So if you guys like this week's, week's video, as always, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. That always helps this channel. And if you haven't already, make sure that you are subscribed here. Just jump on, click that button. And that way, when you subscribe to Zero Waste Closet, you guys will get notifications whenever I come out with new videos. And that is pretty much every single week. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Have a great week. Talk to you soon.